Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for being here. Today I'm gonna to be sharing a fashion video in a sense. It's also a review of Wish. And I'm sure many of you are aware that Wish is an online, um, I don't even know what you would call it. It's like an online store. It just sells just a variety of things. I think they're like the middle company for several different businesses, but I've ordered five clothing items from Wish. So I've been getting a lot of ads for Wish on my different social medias, and I decided to place a few orders just to see what I'm gonna get. So I've ordered five things so far, and three things just came in the mail today and I have not opened them up. They're still in the clear plastic. I just took off the outer packaging, but everything is still packaged up. So I'm just gonna share that with you as I'm seeing it for the first time. And I'm gonna compare some of the things to the actual item. I'm gonna share a split screen or something to show you what these items look like in the advertisements and how they looked on the model. There's a coat, a, like a jacket, and then I also ordered a dress. A sweater dress and I'm sharing this just to show how legit wish is or isn't so we'll learn together as far as clothing for these three items so the first thing is called a 2020 new women elegant long overcoat winter slim fashion wool blend coat long sleeve turn down collar cardigan blazer and it was $17, that's how much I paid. I ordered it on September 3rd and it came today, September 24th. The color just seems a little bit darker than what I thought it would be in the picture, but from what it looks like here, it kind of resembles the coat in the picture. Let's see. And it's supposed to be a wool blend. And the coat looks like just about calf length on the model. So for looking at this so far, the buttons are different. The buttons in the ad are the same color as the coat. And here is, is two black buttons are on this one. And let's see if, yes, there is the double button holes. And it feels like it's a wool blend. Nice wool feel to it. Here's the tag. And I ordered a large in this. These things are coming from China and their sizes are way smaller. And it looks pretty decent. As you can see here, the coat has no lining, but that actually is not terrible because it doesn't move around or slide on your clothes. I can't say for sure what this coat is made out of, but because it's a blend of wool, it's definitely lighter in weight than a wool coat and the structure of it is softer. And I'm going to be DIYing something on each of these items. So for this coat, I'm going to be replacing the buttons. And I'll share with you at the end how everything looks with the final updates. So the next item is the sweater dress. It comes in three colors, a red, gray, and a black. I got the gray one. Four color fashion autumn winter women's wool dress thickening knit dress. Casual knitted sweater warm coat. I'm assuming they use all these different words for um, SEO search and things like that so it pops up. They do a lot of advertising, so I think they really want to get out there. I ordered an extra large in the dress. That was the largest size that they offered at the time, and I paid $26 for this. So let's see how it looks. We'll see how the length goes on me. I'm 5'5", five, 5'4", five, 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 five. It looks pretty close to the, to the ad. It has the pockets in the front, just as advertised. It's supposed to have a split in the back, which it does. And then it's just a long sleeve sweater, tapers at the bottom of the sleeves, and also has that same 
patterning at the bottom here and in the neck part and this turtleneck piece is very long as the model shows it looks very big and wide i ordered the dress on september 6th and the ways i'll be diying this dress is i'm gonna remove this neck it's a little too much for me it's not loose like it is on the model it's very tight and stiff i'll also be removing the pockets and i'll be sewing up the split so watch till the end if you want to see how it all looks the first thing i did was remove the pockets And now I'm taking those two pockets and I'm going to sew those together with the bottom of the pockets sewn together. And I'm using yarn to do that. And now I'm just placing that into the split and I'm going to sew this down. And again, I'll be using the yarn. I pretty much used yarn to sew everything on this dress. And here I'm just finishing off those lines and cutting off the ends. And I sewed it down these lines and then these two inner lines here. And this is how it looks on the inside. And then there's some holes left over from the pockets and I'm just showing how I'm using the yarn to fill those holes in. I just used about three stitches going around this way, sewing of course on the inside and then just tying off a little knot on each of the holes and there was four on each side. And then here I'm cutting off some of the collar, this turtleneck piece. I left about three inches. And then I'm just going to use that extra neck piece to add on to the sleeves. And here I'm just showing how I'm sewing that um, neck piece together to create that sleeve extension. And then I'm just adding it on, putting it right sides together, and then pinning around this edge here. And then I'm just going to sew around that way. And this is how it looks when it's all done. And I did this, of course, to both sleeves. And here I just showed how I folded in that neck and sewed it down again using yarn. And I ordered the jacket here on the same day, September 6th. All three of these items came today, September 24th. So the next item is the jacket. It's this, um, I really like the styling of this and the way it looks on the model. I don't know how it's going to fit on me, but that's what drew me to it. If anyone is familiar with Assassin's Creed, I just love that old look on Ezio, the main character in Assassin's Creed. I know it's a video game character, but something about this coat reminded me of that and I just love that look so I'm like I need to get this. I got the blue one. The ad says fashion long sleeve turn down collar open stitch woolen plain women's coats and I paid $17 for mine and let's check it out. It's the fabric and then it also has the um, faux leather border going all the way around. And this because of the way it's Style is hard to show, but I'm just going to try to show some of the features of it. It has this on either sleeve, little zipper part that you can make the sleeve a bit tighter. I'll have to definitely try this on just to get a look for it. And here's the snap on the back of the jacket. This is how it closes up when it's all closed, but this is how it looks when it's opened. There are a lot of aspects of this jacket that I really like and there are some things that I don't like. So this is on one of the corners of the draping pieces and it goes around and snaps into the back. And this is how it looks when it's all closed up. It has the zippers on the sleeves as I showed before. And you can see that fake leather lining around the border doesn't look the greatest but I think it's still kind of cute. Just, you know, it kind of looks too shiny in the pictures. but. It's okay overall. This is one of the least favorite things. The fabric is different, so the model does not show this. It looks like it's all that nice fabric on the right side, but it's actually that shiny fabric that you see that this is the contrast of that. That shiny fabric shows when the collar is turned over the way it is here, and that's not the cutest.
What I'm going to do to DIY this is to add a little clasp here on this little corner so that when it goes up, it stays because there's nothing really holding it. And I just want to reinforce that part of it. And again, I'll just show you how everything looks in the end. The first thing I want to do is take a patch of the blue fabric to have the good side cover up some of that shiny side. So I used this black fabric here. I glued it down to the inside flap of this jacket and I cut that blue part off and now I'm adding it to that shiny side of the collar that flips over that everyone sees and I'm gluing it down and this is how it looks and I added a buttonhole to the black fabric and reinforced it and then I added a button to the other inner side of the jacket. And this is how that fabric looks once it's glued on to cover this shininess and I have it looking much better. And then I just did the part that has the snap because that seemed a little bit too long. So this is the final result. that is all I hope this video was helpful in letting you see what wish has to offer I will put a link in the description box below I'm not an affiliate with them or anything but if you're interested I think if I refer someone I can get maybe five dollars and maybe I think you get five dollars as well so please consider using my link it would really help me out and I would love that thank you again for watching and I will see you in the next one